The South AIDS is now the new wave of uh, the current uh, AIDS epidemic in the United States, where in some places the prevalence is as high as what we see in many uh, sub-Saharan African countries. A woman may not be aware of her own risk, in part because she may not be aware of her partner's risk of HIV infection. Experiences of violence, um, trauma, mental health conditions, substance abuse, housing instability, and poverty, and all of these factors through various different mechanisms can increase HIV risk. I went to the hospital and um, had shortness of breath. So I went there and I had pneumonia and found out that I had HIV. According to the CDC, more than half of all HIV diagnoses in the country come from 16 southern states in the District of Columbia. And among newly infected women from that region, more than 80% are minorities who contracted the disease from heterosexual intercourse. I told the guy, you must be mistaken. You got my <laughs> test results confused with someone else's. I got in my car and I cried for 15, maybe 16 minutes. And then I said, yeah, this is, I, I mean, I, it was just too much. The risk of infection could be as high as eight times higher in women than in men. We also know, due to biological factor, that the transmission of HIV infection from an HIV-infected man to his um, heterosexual female partner is twofold higher compared to HIV-infected woman to her heterosexual male partner. I was at risk because I was having risky behavior, because I was having unprotected sex with someone whose status I did not know. This perception that people we are not at risk, I don't need to be screened, um, and the issue of stigma, if I am known to have HIV, I will lose all my social capital, my family support, friends. The stigma is a huge contributor, it, and it, it actually has a domino effect, in my opinion, because you have the stigma. So you're afraid to go get tested. So you become HIV positive. So you don't get tested. So you're infecting more people and they don't get tested. And it's just a domino, it's just a domino effect. Even coming to see the doctors, because there are sometimes still physicians who have, you know, kind of this, you know, you got HIV, you know, just, just hang tight over there. And it's like if if the doctor doesn't you know, if he's afraid of me, I certainly don't want to tell, you know, anyone else. I don't know if it is necessarily the fear or danger of the infection as much as knowing exactly what to do. Uh, because uh, managing HIV is a specialized field. For primary care physicians who want to manage HIV, there are opportunities to be trained. So there's the HIV Medical Association, the HIV MA, that provides certification for primary uh, care physicians who are interested in getting trained in, um, in HIV disease management. I think stigma can definitely be a barrier for access to both HIV prevention and treatment for women. Um, Number one, uh, fear of stigma may influence a woman's decision to even seek medical care. When a woman does seek care, stigma or fear of stigma may also affect um, the interaction that she has with her healthcare provider and the information um, that she shares that may be relevant to her HIV risk. The medical community definitely has to step up. You have got to care about me. I cannot just be a number to you. I can't, because if I can't, if I can't come here and get strength from you, I can't, there's no way in the hell I can face it in the world. When people that don't know nearly as much as you do about what I'm going through. HIV is mostly a disease of poverty, uh, low socioeconomic uh, uh, status, and in many parts of the South, uh, women are disproportionately poorer 
than men. The level, the rate of unemployment is low among rural and southern women. All of this creates the environment that enables uh, not only the spread of the HIV, but also ability to access care and ability to, um, to, to comply with care. Hi, my name is Kelvin and I work on the team that creates the content that you've just seen, Medscape TV. If you like the content and want to see more, click on the button to the right and it'll take you to the full series.